good morning to y'all. How the hell are you? How the hell are you? Good morning. Shit, wake your ass up. Good lord. Hey, but when you do wake up, man, so a bitch, put some clothes on for God's sakes. It's cold out there. Hell, a good old thermometer hollers out at me and it says 25 degrees. Damn it, boy. Chili, 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 chili. God damn it, someone told Donald White that it was chili. His dumb ass ran out there with a bowl and a spoon. Stupid motherfucker. Speaking of putting clothes on, why's that some bitch gotta be topless? Ain't nobody wanting to see that shit. Just like ain't nobody want to see damn Durky shit topless. See, he's just trying to be like Durky. Next thing you know, his ass is going to be passed out, overdosed on something on the bed. Claim he was playing a video game and fell asleep. He's going to start goddamn bragging about his Confederate flag and spending $1,600 on a fucking Rick and Morty water bottle. Jesus Christ, start buying some damn knockoff Jordan saying he spent $1,500 on that shit. Whip out a $64,000 guitar with a $24,000 guitar pick on it and start bragging about that shit. Hell, he's just trying to be like Durkey. He'll talk shit to Durkey, he'll talk shit to anybody, acts like he's a tough motherfucker. He's just a little bitch, just trying to be like Durkey. Bless his heart. Kind of, you, you almost want to feel bad for the guy that the only person he looks up to is his fucking brother cousin. It's a fucking drug addict. That's a fucking shame. All the people in the world look up to, and you pick that son of a bitch. Jesus Christ Almighty. Man, I just got off work last night. Hell, I had to paint the Dallas Cowboy football stadium there at Candlestick Park. <laughs> I'm just kidding, shit. I don't do that shit. That Peyton's a lazy man's job. You know, like a surveyor. <laughs> yeah, you go painting, man. All you do is just stand there and hold the brush and go up and down. Up and hell, you learn some karate kid moves. Put you on damn Cobra Kai, now you do all that damn painting. Or you hold a sprayer, you do this. Paintbrush. Spray paint. <laughs> That's a tough man job right there. Man, every time I've seen a fucking painter, man, them some tough motherfuckers. 75 years old, smells like day old liquor. <laughs> oh, I ain't knocking a painter, man. If you paint for a living, fuck it, it's a job. Can't complain. If you survey shit for a living, it's a job. Hell, if you dig ditches for a living, it's a fucking job. If you flip burgers, if all you hear all day long is ding fries are up, it's a fucking job. Hell, that's 10 steps above what fucking Durkey does. Hell, if they said he had to work to get out of bed, he wouldn't do it. Hell, if you had to clock in to breathe, it'd pass out. It's been a hell of a fucking week. Hell of a fucking week. And it ain't even got started good yet. This ain't but what? The fuck is it? Tuesday? Yeah, ain't but fucking Tuesday. Shit alive. We got 17 more days of this week to go. <laughs> yeah, that's what it fucking feels like. Man, I tell y'all what, man. Finally got caught up on all my shirts. Well, all the shirts that I've been paid to, to make. There's a couple of them, and I'm still waiting to get paid to make them. So, they don't get made till I get paid, motherfucker. Sent all that shit out yesterday. I figured I'd damn cut people a fucking deal. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a fucking deal or not, and I know the price of everything, things going up. Price of gas, toilet tissue, food. Hell, 
weed and drugs probably going up. Jesus Christ, I feel sorry for you drug addicts. You guys that smoke pot, I feel sorry for you all of that shit's going up. Price of rolling paper is going up. God damn. Sorry about that. Feel bad for you almost. <laughs> no, I don't smoke pot, so I don't give a shit. I know price of beer's going up, god dang it. Shit, I bought a damn six pack last Wednesday. I still got three left. Oh, I'm a hardcore alcoholic, ain't I? <laughs> Shit. Three beers in damn near almost a week. Pretty goddamn good. Oh, shit. But anyways, like I was saying, before I got sidetracked, goddamn mental rabbit holes, man. I'll tell you what, we've discussed that shit one time before. Hmm. But, uh, Normally I charge $30 a t-shirt, man. But, uh, I'm gonna take $10 off the t-shirt, man. How about that? 20 bucks a t-shirt. Put everybody a fucking little deal on that shit. 20 bucks. And I'll throw in two decals. Now I can do a hoodie for you, but I'm still going to have to charge you 30 bucks for a hoodie, which, fuck, that ain't bad for a goddamn hoodie. Yeah, it's me. But, regular t-shirt, whatever. $20. Take care of you. Throw in two decals. Can't beat that shit. But I ain't begging, I ain't pleading. I'm just throwing that out there. Throwing it out there. Some people have been able to find my Facebook page. Because like I said, I didn't delete it that, I'm, that I know of. But uh, I just took the app off my damn phone. But I kept the messenger because there's still some friends out there that all they got is Facebook. And that's the only way I can get in touch with them. You can find that shit. Or you can find, uh, definitely find me on Instagram. You can probably mess me through there. I got a little ticky tock thing going there. You can find me and probably mess me through there if you want a shirt or whatever. If not, it's all good. Mess with old Johnny Gobble, Gobbly, Goobly. Gobble, 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 whatever. But, you know, this shit it gets kind of boring fucking with his ass because ain't nothing to it. He don't do no damn ranting and raving and shit and throwing a hissy and shit like that, like Donald does and Durkey does. Cyrax, boy, I love fucking with his ass because. He'll throw a fucking frenzy fit. Just ask him how good his day is. Start cussing and raising his head. <laughs> God damn. Holy shit. So, I don't mess with Johnny Gollum no more. Plus, I, I unsubscribed to him. Because that one video, the last video he put up, I think it was his last one. He put up. He was talking about his life, you know, Growing up a certain place and getting on drugs and shit. I'm like, okay, well, he's being real, I guess. Unless he's lying. But, fuck okay. it. Gotta give a man credit. Oh, speaking of giving someone credit, man. I don't know about to take it down or not. I don't know. Yeah, anyways, skip over that whole story. But, uh, that, uh, fucking guy, fucking 1973, when, uh, I put up that video by him calling out Junebug and all that shit. Well, that man, I tell you, I don't. He did what I 
what I didn't expect him to do. I mean, I wasn't wanting him to attack back. I wasn't wanting him to do anything. I was just putting that out there. Shit like that. What it is, what it is. But uh, he come back with a... Seemed to be a heartfelt video, man. Being apologetic. Took his shit down. You gotta really respect somebody that do that shit on an open platform, social media type deal like that. Man, you gotta respect the man to do that shit, man. And I do, I respect him a lot for that shit. before that one, before he put that one, real bad one up, he's all right guy, man, I mean, straight to the point, a little hardcore, whatever, shit, and I watched a couple of them he's put up since, you know, he didn't miss a beat, just back to what he was doing, I mean, hell, again, like I said, I'll give everybody a shot, man. I really do. I give everybody a shot. But uh, he, he seems to be an alright guy, man. He really does. Everybody has a lapse. Everybody fucks up. God knows I have. I've fucked up a lot. Hell, I could be fucking up right now and don't even know it yet. <laughs> but, uh, uh, man, if y'all could, man, just go over there, subscribe to him, watch a couple videos. He's a big, he, he's a good ride up church fan. He really is. Me personally, I, you know, I like riding up church. You know, I've said this before. I said it a hundred times, I guess. And, you know, I, you know, a good bit of his music now, you know, I seem to like, but. And, uh, and I was subscribed to that hard, uh, what was his damn name, HDC, Heavy Duty Country, that fucker. I was subscribed to him when I watched, you know, some, uh, some politic videos and shit and people's take on different things going on, but. I don't know, there's a lot of shit he says. I mean, he's got a lot of proof of what he's saying, but it's just a little, a little suspect there. I don't know, there's just a little something. And there's something I can't trust at all. From a guy that claims his country, wears a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, all that shit, but he wears his damn shirts and shit, just two, three sizes too fucking small. There's just a little I can't can't wrap my mind around that shit, man. I mean, I don't know how many of y'all have ever done some actual fucking <coughs> outside having to do some outside fucking work. Like, bailing hay Dealing with horses. I know Sam Lee does. Dealing with bulls, cows, horses. That kind of shit outside of work. Shoveling shit. Baling hay, loading hay, unloading hay, all that bullshit. You can't get a lot of work done wearing a tight ass shirt. That's all I can say. I kick shit around all day. You see my hat? Yeah, I see your hat. Looks like it was bought at a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Bless your heart. Hey, you're trying. I'll give you that much. It's got more dirt on it than your boots have had in the past two years. And you know, just by this picture coming up here, he ain't got a fucking clue what he's doing as far as being country or cowboy or shit kicking or whatever because you do not 
wear flat, squared off toed boots with spurs. Spurs are for when you're riding a horse. Those ain't riding boots. I'm just saying. Take a look. Square toed boots are for when you're on your feet. It's where you know the the real cowboys don't trust your dumb ass to be riding a horse. So what the fuck you doing with spurs on square toed boots there, dumbass? God. You look like an idiot. Please stop. You can't. So no. He talks about a I I got more dust in my hat than you got on your boots. I've kicked dirt for a living, blah 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 blah. No, you don't, motherfucker. No, the fuck you don't. Got that little baby face going. Yeah. Little soft hands. No. You might have did some work as far as cutting grandma's grass. <coughs> Running outside to get the newspaper for daddy. But as far as have to do manual labor, sun up, sun down shit, I don't see you done it. Don't come with us that bullshit. You be like, I'm just a good old country boy. I've been on a couple of damn farms. I've been on quite a few ranches. I've been on a... Yeah, I've seen a lot of country boys. I have yet to see one. Working. Or just milling around the house. Or going out on the town. Wearing a tight ass shirt like that. Cock knocker. And I ain't talking shit about you because I'm a Ryan Up Church fan. I'm talking shit about you because I was subscribed to you. But you got you have to make it a point in all your videos to put down Ryan Up Church fans. All of them. You're as dumb as your fans. Okay. Oh, he lost. I unsubscribed to him. That's just gonna hurt him. No, I know it ain't. Probably ain't even noticed. But you keep that kind of shit up, your dumb ass gonna start losing more. I'm just saying. I have no respect for a man that does that kind of shit. None. Ain't gonna get none of it back neither. None of his fans have done anything to you. To keep you from doing anything that you want to do. Ain't none of them tried to buck you out of money like you claim church did. You're just trying to get a rise out of people. So, why don't you go back to mommy daddy's house. Buckle your ass up in a fucking high chair. And tell your daddy to give you some life lessons again. Try that shit. Oh, uh. Silk Fortunes or damn YouTube channel named Jumbo. And that girl had me fucking rolling. She had me rolling, man. All the damn time. Subscribe to her ass. Well, don't subscribe to her ass. No shit, no. Hell, I don't even think her ass has a YouTube channel. I think her ass just follows her around in hers. <laughs> God damn it. That was, that was a good one. I like that one. I'm going to write that down. But yeah, y'all go subscribe to her and and uh, that. And, yeah, they good people. Junebug's funnier than shit, boy. God, damn, she's funny. Good old Southern girl. She reminds me of them kind of kind of women that will whip your ass. And send you home to mommy with a juice box because it's a long walk. Just saying. I think I said that to triple nickel. 
one of the comments I made, but y'all go on and do that shit. And yeah, I'm just about to the house now. Y'all have a good day. Stay warm. Stay humble. Stay kind. <laughs> shit. Me? Humble? Kind? <laughs> Practice what you preach, cowboy. <laughs> All right. I'll work on that shit. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Sometime today, call your mama, man. She still loves you. So she says. That's what she told me. Have a good one.